How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another show. This is You May Roscoe, and I am Roscoe. And today's show, I got my partners in crime with me. You see them. I got Sal in the building with me, and I got Peeps in the building with me. What up with it, my dudes? And I, 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 see, I see the Dark Knight is here with us as well. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, he is well represented as well. So that's that's good to see. But um. Uh, Today's show, we're going to be doing uh, something a little bit different. We're actually going to be doing a reaction um, to a recap of season one of The Boys. And this is this is something that's um, fun for us. Uh, the three of us, we're uh, comic fans of uh, different levels, you know what I mean? Like, uh, but um, we, we love... We love comics, you know what I mean? And we, we sit around and we talk about like a lot of these characters from uh, different comic um, worlds and universes. And this is one of those shows that um, that all of us, uh, the three of us enjoy <laughs> talking about because we all watch it. So we thought we'd discuss like uh, uh, some of the happenings uh, in front of you guys, you know, um, those who also enjoy the show. So. We uh, thought that would be fun. But before we continue, I do want to ask for anybody who hasn't already that they please subscribe to the channel and also make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be reminded of any time any future shows are being published. And um, now that I've said that, you know, um, we can, we, we, uh, I, I'm, I'm excited to do this. Uh, like, like I, I've been waiting to do something like this on, on air with you guys, with y'all, y'all in particular. You know what I mean? Because not only are y'all uh, uh, eclectic on uh, as far as the music is concerned, but y'all just y'all 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 kind of got y'all fingertips in a lot of things. Some stuff that I, I haven't even been exposed to. You know what I mean? So I I, I love having these conversations with y'all. But uh, y'all ready to do this, man? It look like we ready. It look like we ready. I see. Uh, yeah, peace. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Let's get it. The Boys is making its long-awaited return to Amazon Prime on September 4th. That's good news for fans who like their superheroes on the raunchy and violent side. But with Season 1 having debuted a year ago, we're here to break down all the important characters and plot twists from Season 1, so you'll be ready to dive back into the world of The Boys. And we'll do it all in four minutes or less. We're a different breed. We shine with the golden light of Providence. Can I get a selfie? Of course you can. The world of the boys is a far cry from the Marvel and DC universes. In the satirical superhero world, heroes are less crusading do-gooders than self-absorbed celebrities and corporate mascots. What? I mean, you said you had a crush on me. I figured that, you know... Most of the world's heroes work for a company called Vought International, which has made a fortune out of monopolizing and monetizing the superhero industry. What few people realize, however, is that Vought has been manufacturing heroes for decades. The company uses a chemical called Compound V to transform infants into superhuman products. Vought has even resorted to creating its own superpowered terrorists to drum up demand for the heroes only it can provide. Vought's greatest or most terrible creation is yeah, Homelander, a hero with a power. I'm gonna I'm I'm stop it right here before they uh, jump into uh, Homeland. I'm gonna push it back a bit. But um, um, first of all, I, I wanna I wanna ask you, say, oh, like, like, um, like, how how long has it been since you uh been like aware of like the boys that whole thing? How, how long have you, have you been wrapped up in this? I've been wrapped up when I first heard about it from season one. It just seemed interesting. As a matter of fact, no. Peeps put me on to it. Because he asked me if I ever watched it off of Amazon. And I didn't, I've seen it, but never rode past it. And he's the one that kind of put me on it. Like, you need to watch it. Yeah. So, started watching it and been hooked ever since. Yeah. Now, uh, what, like, what, 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 it, what it been like your thoughts? And um, I know at this point, um, at the time of this recording, um, they, they, we're up to season three, you know, um, episode four, I believe, uh, with the boys. Um, so the best I, way, I, so the best way I could put this in my own terms is, and I've watched it a couple of times. I watched season one and two a couple of times before the third season popped up. But in yeah. my head, and the way I see it is, for the folks that haven't watched it, just imagine if the Justice League was real, right? The Justice League was real, but instead of the crime-fighting heroes that you know of, 
that you come to love throughout the years, these people are actually, you know, they're narcissistic, terrifying, and just downright assholes. That's like the best way to sum this up. Yes. That's yeah. what you're going to get. And that's how I see it. I mean, the seven, that's that's how I see it. That's how I see the seven. They all got their issues. They they they, they assholes. <laughs> and they don't look great, shape, or form. They, but I love it. It's a different take. I love it. I love it. I'll leave that at that for now. Okay. Uh, Peeps, what about you? Um, I was just piggybacking a little bit off of what Sale just said. Uh, everybody in the seven is basically an asshole except for one character. And I think we all in agreement that this one character can do no wrong, and that's Homelander. I mean, <laughs> outside of that, you know, the rest of them are some. I can take it up, take them or leave them. You That's know? totally not well who the, the character that I was that, that, that I was thinking of. You know what I mean? I, I, who are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. You, I know. I, I, I want to mess this up. Oh but, man, but, yo, uh, we, we were not uh, thinking the same character. You, 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 I, I was. I thought we was all going the same road. And you know, yeah, no. But, but go ahead. I'm sorry, bro. I mean, not, <laughs> not at all, man. Um, just. Looking at it, they are a warped version of the Justice League. And of course, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, there's a lot of nods to the Justice League. There's a lot of nod to uh, Marvel characters as well. But uh, all of the characters are pretty much super, superficial assholes who um, are just in things for themselves. And Homelander is the only one that keeps it 100. So, I mean... Yeah, yeah, for those of you guys who've seen this, seen the show, you guys know. For those of you who all, all haven't seen the show, uh, just know that keep your eye on Homelander. I mean, I I, I, I fucks with him. I'm sorry, I just do. Yeah, no, hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it, man. He is, he he's scary, brother. He, you know what I mean? Like, uh, How, power should be scary. You know? Yeah. Uh, shout out to Anthony Starr. Yeah, shout out to New Zealand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doing their thing. But um, yeah, power should be terrified, you know. It should be. I mean, because he, he's he's doing a good job um displaying like how terrifying it would be if these people existed in our world. Like, like um when like for you know the and I'm hoping. You know, and I and we'll just be talking about like stuff from season one, and hopefully, you know, the people that's watching this video have seen at least season one because we're up to season three now. So, um, if yeah, I, we're gonna probably be spoiling it for people who haven't seen it already. So, if you one of those people who don't want to get spoiled by nothing in season one, you know what I mean. You probably want to stay away. You know what I mean, and come back after you. You know, because we're gonna be talking about some stuff from season one, at least. But um, but but yeah, no, the just the way that this started out, dude. You know, and I, I ain't gonna get real in depth at this point. But the 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 first thing when um when Hue, Huey and his girl is and this is very early in episode one. You know what I mean? Hey, before sure. before we have even been exposed to that world and how bad everybody is, but. You know, you and your girl, y'all just walking down the, the street and you trying to, uh, you talking about your favorite, uh, who, who is his, who is his guy that he likes? Uh, is it uh, the guy that plays the piano? What's his name? Damn, I, I forget his name. I, I was going to say Billy Idol, but it's totally not Billy Idol. But, uh, uh, Billy Joel. Billy Joel. There you go. There you go. So you go, you walking down the street. Try to explain to your girl about your favorite Billy Joel songs and A Train, who um, is the speech of the group. He he's he's in route to um, he's a, he's actually in route to like uh, taking V all around the world. That's what he was on at that point. But he explodes through this chick. Explodes through the chick, dude. Like. To see that one thing before you've even seen anything else, it was just like, God damn it, dude. You know what I mean? And then like, like, and then like he just like um 
like my bad, my bad, and then kept kept it moving. You know what I mean? You you expected at this point, like this is a show about superheroes. He's one of the good guys, and he burst through her and kept it moving. <laughs> Like that was crazy to me, dude. But I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this keep going, and then we can, we can talk some more after uh, we say some more. So let's do that. Superpower terrorists to drum up demand for the heroes only it can provide. Bot's greatest or most terrible creation is Homelander, a hero with the powers of Superman, the fashion sense of Captain America, and the personality of a serial killer. No, no, no. What? So they can tell the world that we love. Oh, uh, we, we go to, we gonna talk about that scene. We 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 need to talk about that scene. I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let this video go a little no bit. Man says serial killer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, dude. What else you gonna call that? But uh, I don't serial, know. serial killer, savior, it's all the same. Yeah, no, I was about to... <laughs> tomato, tomato, huh, Pete? <laughs> let the rest of them. Die? Homelander craves the fame and adoration of the job even as he despises the people he protects. The only thing keeping him in line is his twisted sexual relationship with his boss, Madeline Stilwell. His colleagues in the elite super team known as the Seven aren't much better. Whether it's the alcoholic self-loathing Queen Maeve, the Compound V addicted A-Train, the mysterious assassin Black Noir, or predators like the Deep and Translucent, they aren't good people. That's a hell of a city right there. No, I got to push it back, dude. I, it, I don't want to get stuck right there, but that is funny. That is funny. The, the swing is swinging by itself, but that's translucent. <laughs> like the deep and translucent, they so are good, good people. people. Copyright infringement is costing Vought 1.2 billion per year. That's money out of our pockets. Only wide-eyed new recruit Annie January, aka Starlight, is actually worthy of her powers. And as she learns over the course of season one, being a member of the Seven is nothing like she hoped. And I think that firing an employee after she reported sexual assault on live TV might tank your stock price. Well, I hope we can count on your discretion. Clearly, the world needs protecting from its so-called heroes, and that's where the boys come in. Which pill do you want me to take? Just quit being a that's what I'm saying. The underground CIA-sponsored unit of cape killers works to expose the heroes for what they truly are, and by any means necessary. They're led by Billy Butcher, a man with a very personal grudge against Vought International and Homelander. You see, Billy's wife Becca worked for Vought until she was apparently raped by Homelander and mysteriously vanished. To get yeah, I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to stop it right there. But um, uh, what do y'all think of Butcher? Terrorist. Clearly a terrorist. You can tell by the beard. And then his name, Billy Butcher. Who, who names they kid that? Think about it. Think about it. Oh, my God. It just screams terrorist all the way, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I and, uh, the, uh, and I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna uh, assume that that this has something to do with uh, your connection to Homelander, but um, you know, neither here or there, neither here or there. But um, tell you, you may have a tiny, tiny bit more objective view. <laughs> I see him as a vigilante, man. But on the flip side, I understand his reasoning. I mean, shit. His main lady, you know, got snatched up and locked, you know, <laughs> got raped up. But it's funny because at the end of the season, never mind. But right, you know, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, is it is it something about the end of this season that we talking the about? Next, it's the end of next season. Oh, okay, the next season now. Yeah. No, we we yeah. I know where he going with that. Okay. Allegedly, um, right? Yeah. So that's why I went. <laughs> Okay, okay. But initially watching, when I first seen it, I'm like, I understand his viewpoint. I mean, shit, I'll be trying to hunt these motherfuckers down too. If somebody take my main lady, rape her, and then she just disappear off the face of the planet. I mean, I, mm, <laughs> I'll be on some shit too. Low yeah. key, I'll be on some shit too. Yeah. No, it's, it's never yours. Too. It's just your, it's never yours. It's just your turn. And when you get a <laughs> chiseled god like Homeland to come through, you gotta up your girl. You gotta up that. It's over. It's over. It's so, over. It's like Prince coming to club in '84. 
You know what I'm saying? Wearing stilettos and you know what I'm saying? The little puffy t-shirts and stuff. You know what I'm saying? With eyeliner on. Your girl gone. Chop it up. It's over with. He ain't trying to hear that. No, so 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 Butcher's Butcher's girl is just for the streets, according to peeps. So uh, so no, we gonna keep this going. You know, when it comes to Homelander, yeah, maybe you might get away with that with the deep or or, or Queen <laughs> Maeve or something like that. But Homelander, ah man, that's the mecca right there, man. Right, she she. So in other words, he got to run that, like like run that, homie. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Let's, let's keep it moving. Together with allies like Mother's Milk, the Frenchman, and the female, oh they're committed oh. to being the actual heroes oh. the world needs. The boys tried and failed to stop the Seven once before, but they're given a second chance when Wee Huey enters the picture. After Huey's girlfriend is killed by an out-of-control A-train, he reluctantly joins the boys to get revenge. Just like Starlight, Huey finds out that being a team player is nothing like he expected. Huey even starts dating Annie, which makes it very awkward when he's forced to choose between his new girlfriend and his mission. Unfortunately, oh, things don't go. He shot the bitch, dude. Like he did a bunch of us. Oh my god, man! But that's y'all hero, though, right? No, I, that's y'all hero, though. He a little excited. I didn't say he was my hero. I just said vigilante. I ain't say none about him being my hero. I, I'm but just saying yeah, they 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 they're putting Billy Butcher. With that beard as the protagonist of this of this story, he ain't the protagonist, man. No, he don't man. even have a chiseled jaw. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had but had a beard, bro. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm, I'm no, no. It's, no. It, it's, it's a no for peeps. <laughs> Let's keep this moving, man. Was so well for the boys over the course of the first season. Though they manage to kill a couple supers and dig deeper oh. into the conspiracy at the heart of Vought International, they become fugitives in the process. Billy attempts to go out in a blaze of glory, but instead Homelander saves his life and reveals that Becca is alive and raising the son Homelander father. Awkward. Daddy's home. The mission will only become more difficult in Season 2 as Huey and the gang try to stay one step ahead of the law and battle new enemies inside Vought. Stillwell is gone, but she's replaced by her boss, Vought CEO Stan Edgar. The Seven will also be gaining a new member. Hi! My Nan is your biggest fan. I'm oh man, dude. I, I can't wait till we get to talk about her in depth, you know, she because she's more, more of a part. She is a part of Season 2. She, she's not in Season 1 at all. But, um... Oh, I can't wait to talk about this lady. Whew. I cannot wait to talk about this lady. Stormfront was something else, brother. Right. When she 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 came with a bang. Like right off the bat. Like uh, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm Stormfront. Who's basically a female white supremacist version of Thor. Season two may also reveal more about Black Noir, shedding a little light on the most dangerous member of the seven. Let's just say you'll never guess who's under that mask. That's everything you need to know before diving into The Boys Season 2. Let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see in Season 2. And for all the coolest coverage from Comic-Con at home, stay tuned to IGN. All right, so um, that was the end of that. And um, that was that was a cool recap um, to, to go through. Uh, just reminding me of some of the crazier moments that I had seen during that season on um, uh, sale. What, what, uh, like, what was, what was some of the, like the crazier moments um, that you could think of? Some of the moments that you kind of held on to from uh, this season. Definitely Translucent's death, man. I actually like Translucent, even when they had him locked up in the little cage and shit, holding them hostage and shit. Right. Low key liked him. Then they put that bomb in his ass. And <laughs> but low key and this is just me I love Frenchie I love Frenchie you know nobody say I fucks with Frenchie yeah, why because he already got the skills of learning how to kill these folks so some of his methods don't work but it's funny as hell yeah but he, he you know he's not a quitter I like that he's not a quitter you know he try to things outside the box I like Frenchie I like Frenchie. I love Frenchie a lot. At the end of the day, Homelander is a complete dick slash asshole. It is what it is. No, and I'm about to say why. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Because everybody's got it in them. 
Right. But you know you a complete asshole of when you take this man's girl, knock her up, she has a kid, and have him raising his kid just to show him like, hey, no, she's not dead. He raising my son. You know, it is what it is. That is one of the most ballsiest play moves I can ever think of. You thinking one thing, but it's a whole nother thing. And he shows you, like, I'm the man. It is what it is. Yeah. I, I mean, know. She just had my kid, and then she raising it. <laughs> I mean, I mean it's like some future ballsy vibes type of shit. How ballsy is that, though? It, it's, it's very. No, I mean. That he's, gives me, he's on top of future. You know, future's like the king of toxicity. That's the <laughs> Lord and Savior. But this guy here. <laughs> if you really want to narrow it down, he's the epitome. I somewhat want to strive to be like him one day. Right. Like, hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe you could compare this. <laughs> <day. on laughs> I believe that at that. I believe it at that. Oh, uh, peeps. I, I, I'm so intrigued. To you, hear you gotta, for our viewers out there, you got to ask yourself. What other show on YouTube have you seen in which Homelander and Future are mentioned in the same context? That's what you're getting right here. So go ahead, like, no subscribe, because this no is what you show. get when you come into Roscoe's Village right here. Uh, I couldn't disagree with Cell any more than what I already have. <laughs> Homelander is a paramount of justice. Um, he is the epitome of what all men should strive for. What the hell and, is not, and not just men, but women too. Just like all the bad cash should be striving to be more like Homelander. You know, he keeps shit real. You know what I'm saying? Oh he, what he won't, he take. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he saw that woman. That woman was giving him googly eyes. He knew. She knew. She felt the power. Right. And, you know, Billy was standing in the way. That's the way I see it. Billy was standing in the way. Now, he could have been on some future shit, you know, some, some lower level shit by impregnating her and then leaving her there. And then Billy could have been raising the baby the whole time. It ain't Billy's baby, you know? I, Next I, thing you I, know, I swear that happened. shoot laser beams I, and shit. I, I, I can swear that happened, but I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm just saying, <laughs> he could have did that. <laughs> but instead, he wants to spare him his pain. See, he, he man, you know, he gracious. You know what I'm saying? He spared that man the pain and gave him motivation through his hatred. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, man, y'all, y'all, man, come on, man, man. Stop playing with Homeland like that, man. Mm -hmm. No, some respect on his name, man. I oh, and shout that. out to Kim, uh, uh, Karen Sue Jahara. Who uh who plays the uh hey what's her name she's Frenchie's girlfriend she does the sign language oh yeah no you know what I'm saying? Uh, she's uh she's like the the, the female is her name yeah well no they got chemical chemical is her name yeah 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 she's awesome yeah yeah no uh peeps there's something wrong with you brother um <laughs> like um yeah but um yeah Homelander is like uh I, I don't know what to say about that dude. He's a dude, and I, I want to bring up that uh, because for me, like one of the more, um, it, I think the most polarizing scene um, in that in that whole series with a, I mean, there were so many uh, in that season one, but that that whole uh, airplane scene, dude. If uh, and and it's and it's back on your boy again, peeps. I know. Um, but yeah, no, if that right there didn't just put, uh, I mean, it just framed perfectly like, uh, the, 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 the Patriot that, uh, this, uh, this man that's, uh, peeps is suggested that we praise, <laughs> you know, but no, um, that, 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 that was just a crazy moment, dude. Like I, I love, I, I love how they turned this and flipped this whole you know, how we are looking at superheroes, you know what I mean? We living in this age where, you know, um, we just see good guys, bad guys, and this show um, 
took it deeper, took a deep dive into like if we if we really had superheroes or uh, super powered people on the planet, like would they like just automatically just choose to be good or or you know what I mean? Like these are real people with real people mental issues or real you know they went through the struggle just like everybody else out here and so yeah no they, they, I, I thought it was dope to just see that kind of stuff um being put on display in the show but that 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 scene with the airplane man that that was so fucking crazy to me and um what, 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 hold on roscoe what was crazy about it? i mean the 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 uh, the the fact that we just left the people on the plane to die, I don't know. That may be one problem. Bro, people yeah. die every day, B. <laughs> <laughs> I, I personally, I want a Homelander t-shirt that says that. People die every day, B. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, shit. I, I... Dude. <clears throat> Dude, we <sighs> just, I, I think we just made history or something <sighs> on this show. Because yeah. this will be the this will be the only time on YouTube you'll never see this anywhere. Where not only was Homelander compared to Future, you know what I mean. Not only, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. We get two classic comparisons, man. Like like oh my god, and people die every day. So so now he's Cameron as well. You know what I mean. But uh, from paid in full, but. Um, yeah, no, people die every day, B, according to uh, Peeps. So, um, yeah, no, that, but that, <laughs> that, that scene was just crazy. That scene was crazy. And um, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. If I was made, you know what I mean? Um, what do you do, you know, in that situation, but just uh, uh, let the people perish and, you know, try to get rid of all evidence of it, so. That's what right. it, 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 while, while y'all throwing stones at Homeland, does she what, what does she do? I mean, what she do? Her, with, with, without spoiling it, you know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, she she may come around. She may come around. You know what I mean? She may she, she may be re- redeemable. It's <laughs> all I want to say. She may be redeemable. So, uh, 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 are you implying that Homelander is not redeemable? No, I'm, like, what I'm is, just. What is that for him to redeem? You know. No, I'm just putting the bigger focus on the fact that she may be. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's all I want to say, peeps. I want to that low, low key that she might be the villain of the story. My no, 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 damn! <laughs> Spoiler alert, y'all heard it here first. I, I think Peeps is the reverse Sherlock Holmes. That's what it is like. <laughs> like he's easy instead of instead of being the greatest at finding like clues you'll never unearth. He's he's throwing things at you that you would have never even you ain't even supposed to throw in the mix. Like what? No. Like why? You know. So no, that's that's crazy. But uh, this was so much fun. And Sal, what you got to say, man? You just been sitting back. <laughs> it's not much to say, man. Pizza ready. I think Homelander's too far, too deep in the trenches for me, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. But um, I, I love his development from season one and now, especially his character development, because he's definitely going to, he's definitely going to, he's going to get crazy. It's definitely a roller coaster ride. Dude, I mean, um, it is. That, it, it's, it's crazy to think like you how crazy he was in this season. And then, like you said, the arc and where they taking it. You know, um, since this point, it's like, how do you make a already crazy and scary character even more so? I, I, you know, so just when you think there is not that there's a ceiling, you know, they they show you that there ain't no ceiling. So, and the funny um, thing is, Homelander doesn't really scare me as much as old boy that runs the corporation that terrifies me more than anything. Yeah, um, Edgar, Sam yeah. Edgar. Yes. E- e- no, he's he's got my antennas up. Um, he's very duplicitous. You know? <laughs> like, like, like he, uh, this man is is like he he knows he and he said it in um uh, you know something in the current season just about how you know um uh, uh b- learning how to play both sides and all that stuff and he's such so great at that you know and um. 
the 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 the, the guy that's playing them. Um, I always say that Giancarlo, um, what is his last name? I forget, but um, uh, Esposito is that is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, he's giving me that Gus Breaking Bad vibes, man. Yeah. So he's he's such a great actor and always there. So um, yeah, no, great job, great job. It, it was fun doing this with you guys, man. Um, uh, if you guys out there, if y'all enjoyed this conversation that we had about. Um, the boys season one. Um, we're we're going to be doing them anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you guys would um, want to request anything in particular that isn't this that you want us to react to, um, you feel free to do that as well. So jump in the comments and do that. But um, we're going to leave. But, but before we do that, speaking of getting in the comments, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the share button, hit the playlist option. Uh, this particular one, I will just go ahead and make a uh, recap reactions um, playlist. So I'll do that. So that's where you'll find this particular one. Um, I do have playlists for other uh, artists, mainly music stuff, a lot of that. But um, we're doing a lot of other stuff um, and coming. We've done uh, uh, reactions to like wrestling and we'll, um, comedy, some other, you know, st uh, other stuff. So. We'll be uh, opening up and doing a lot more stuff and creating more lanes. That was the that was this that was the whole mission, you know, in the beginning. So we'll we'll be doing that. But uh, uh, also the cash app is on the screen. Dollar sign you made Roscoe for anybody who wants to make a donation to the page. Um, apparently, like the, I hear the sirens. They actually coming for peeps. You don't know that, but you know since he started talking that talk about home ramp. You know, <laughs> you know, they, they, the, the, the people have been alerted, you know, so um, we got to get up out of here just to save peeps because I, I don't want them to get caught up. So, um, like I said, check out all that stuff. The cash app is there. We have to leave anything y'all want to say before we do that. Love, peace and hair grease. Peeps. Team Homelander. Hashtag. Homeland is the best, period. Yep, that's how we ended it, just like that. Just like that. Hashtag Homelander. Dingo. <laughs> so, B-Cell, B-Cell and Peace will be back again uh, as soon 